Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Shahla Putri. Right now, I'm here to present about my research. It's about designing an optimization model to reduce outbound logistic costs in the e-commerce industry in Indonesia using the Mixed Integer Linear Programming, or MELP, method. So nowadays, technological advance require many people to use the internet. It can be seen that the progress of the internet has the impact on social conditions, the economy, and the people's welfare. As we can see that Indonesia is the third largest in internet user country in Asia, where it has an impact on the online service industry or e-commerce. Some of the requirements for the rapid development of e-commerce trend that are needed by logistic providers to adapt are efficiency shipping organization, consolidate shipping to lower shipping costs, and maintaining supply chain efficiency. Therefore, efficiency and effective logistics is very important in ensuring the smooth flows of goods and increasing competitiveness in business online. So here, a role of bond logistic importers value chain analysis. Value chain analysis is the conceptualization of activities that are effective and efficient in providing products or service to customer to obtain company excellence competitive value and cost. So uh, there is a main activity value chain analysis. One of that is outbound logistics. Outbound logistics is the movement of the products out of the factory or operations to customers or consumers. So the research this research was conducted in one of the e-commerce business in Indonesia, which has an application shopping feature for retail goods online. So here, process of the outbound logistics from warehouse to customer grocery, st grocery store agent. Based on gap analysis, there is a comparison of total outbound logistic costs from November until December 2019. Total output logistic costs consists of shipping costs and storage costs. But shipping costs, logistic costs are higher than storage costs. So there is a problem that the company target condition is different with company actual conditions. Company target condition of total output logistic costs is around 50 million rupiah, but the company actual condition is around 80 million rupiah. Therefore, companies need to make plans to reduce outbound logistic costs so, so that the company target can be achieved. To solve the problem, it's necessary using mathematical models. Uh, the method methodology that to be used in the shipping optimization is mixed integer linear programming and help uh, with linear software. The formulation of the problem is how to minimize output logistic costs in the e-commerce industry in Indonesia by using the mixed integer linear programming method. And research purpose is first obtain a mathematical model to minima minimize the total output logistic costs in the e-commerce industry in Indonesia, in Indonesia using mixed integer linear programming. Second is get a shipping plan by considering factor is a selection of vehicle types. Number of vehicle use, and then the total volume of goods in each vehicle and increase the logistic utility. The third is comparing out the logistic costs before and after the repair. So the research limitation is uh, conducted in one of the Indonesian e-commerce company in supply chain divisions. Second is uh, the research locations cover area of Seoul, Jakarta, it's Jakarta, and Kasi. The historic historical data is using is used from uh, November 2019 to December 2019. It's eight periods, and then using a uh, vehicle, van, and motor motorcycles, and then outbound logistic costs. Uh, the uh, the agent is around so Jakarta is Jakarta and Bekasi areas, and then the outbound costs are inquired for using third party shipping providers. So here the method methodology. First is identification problem. Next is study literature. Next is collection data. Collecting the secondary data from the company, and then processing data. First determine objective function, and then determine variable decision and, and parameter. Third is determine constraint function. 
And next is making um, mathematical models. And next is verification and model validations. And next is uh, anal analysis the result. And next is conclusion and suggestion. So here, the purpose function is to minimize cost of the logistics. Uh, here, uh, the set parameter, decision variable, and constraint function. Here, the constraint function too. So, after that, uh, we're doing a model verification, as we can see, uh, by using global software, Lingo software. Uh, as we can see that uh, the model is runnable and there are no errors or debugging, so it can be said it's uh, ready to, verif to verify. And next is to validation the models. As we can see, to comparing the company's historical data with the model result to ensure that the model create is correct and represent the real situation. And here, that the model is valid. So here the result and discussions. As we can see that uh, data processing result is use of vehicle pass before and after. There was a decrease in the number of vehicles, van and motorcycles for, for all periods. And then uh, the average uh, vehicle utilization, there was an increase, increasing in the average utilization value of the vehicles used in the all periods. As we can see that, uh, here, the total outbound logistic cost, there was a decrease in the total cost of outbound logistic for all periods. As we can see that the result is uh, successfully reached the target to save total outbound logistic cost in the amount of around 13 million, from around 80 million to uh, 49 uh, million, decreased by 38%. After that, uh, as we can see, we analysis the sensitivity using the parameter change, uh, increase and decrease uh, from 500 of uh, 5%, I'm sorry, 10% and 15%. So, so from the parameters, there's a demand parameter, shipping cost parameter, and storage cost parameters. As we can see that the biggest effect parameter change influenced by demand in period one, period two, and period three. So here the sensitivity analysis period one, sensitivity analysis period two, and sensitivity analysis result period three. All is uh, influenced by demand. So the conclusion is uh, the result of mathematical models regarding the, this design of the optimi optimization models related to outbound logistics planning in one of the e-commerce company in Indonesia has been obtained by using the mixed integer linear programming method. And here uh, there was a decrease in logistic outbound cost. So uh, as we can see that it can uh, reach the company's target And next, uh, the result research, research the decision variab variables in eight periods uh, include the number of vehicle use, which are affected by the total volume of demand, the choice of vehicle type, will affect the volume of orders for the volume of goods to be carried in it. And the value of vehicle utilization is influenced by the choice of vehicles used together with the volume order content in it. As we can see all the results, uh, from this uh, decision variables will reduce logistic costs out of the company. So the future research, it can uh, recommend, recommend it to counting uh, the distance and time. And it can be done using other methods such as heuristic and meta heuristic approach. I think that's all for the presentations. Thank you for attention. Uh, Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you.